Hello! Today we're going to talk about troublemakers. Were you a troublemaker? I know I was. I mean, you can't have uh, laboratory mice races on the hall of your senior high school without getting into some sort of trouble. But such as the virtues of having A's and a good reputation, they just go, don't do it again, dear. And then they call your mother and she says, don't do it again, dear. Okay. <laughs> so the first and last memorial lab mice race. That was it. But it was a lot of fun. And that's the problem. Talking about the book entitled Troublemaker, which was written by Mr. Clements. Now, Mr. Andrew Clements is a bona fide award-winning writer of children's fiction. So you know what that means. Mm -hmm. Approved. And when a parent approves it, uh, 10 to 1, the kid ain't gonna like it. Is that how it is? Well, could be. Could be. This one's not so bad, though. Seems his older brother decided he's going to give him a little bit of advice. Seems mom and dad weren't on the same page. So the whole question is about what does it mean to be a man? Hmm? Getting into trouble. Troublemaker. Why? Because it's fun. And, you know, you get buddies and, and all this stuff. Yeah. But who gives you jobs? It ain't your buddies. Not at that age, it ain't. And what's a good place to stay out of? jail so and does your reputation matter well yeah it does if you have the reputation as a troublemaker as a teenager uh, not so good so yes now it's illustrated because well Illustrations help hold people's attention, doesn't it? And what is nice is that it doesn't insult anybody's intelligence. Which far too many kids' books do. But this one, not, not at all. The guy thinks about it. He gets upset about things. Yes, he doesn't like getting disrespected he thinks. But gradually, you see the boy start growing up, start thinking about consequences of his actions, and how seemingly inconsequential, you know, small little acts of defiance and whatnot can have repercussions beyond your expectations and sometimes eh, some people need a little extra input to get them over the hump of finally understanding why a people having generally a good opinion of you is worth having
So I recommend this book. And you do read your kids' books, don't you? Before you give them to them. You don't just consider them harmless, right? Because you know better than that. But you also don't go off into left field and go, or in this case, right field, and go, oh my God, they talk about something I don't want to talk about. <laughs> you might not want to talk about it. But there might come a time when you must talk about it. And it'd be better if you were prepared. So, I recommend that you look at what Mr. Clements writes. And you think about adding him, at least troublemaker here, to your child's bookshelf, especially a boy. Although it does apply to more advanced women, yes. Because even women can be troublemakers. I hope this helps. Thank you for watching and please do come again.